Hi you guys, welcome to my Curious Crafts, this is Shan, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a bow using multiple ribbons. Okay you guys, we're going to measure 10 inch tails and 6 inch loops on both sides. I want toes up top, so I'm going to measure out about, um, it appears to be probably a six inch tail, and we're going to go with six inch loops again. Just take your time and untangle the ribbon if it happens to get tangled, it's no big deal. Okay, ribbon number two is going to have about eight inch tails and five inch loops. Here we go. This is our third ribbon, and we're going to have, let's see, looks like eight or nine inch tails, and we're going to go with four inch loops with this ribbon. This is our fourth and final ribbon, and I want the toes and the loop to kind of spike out in the center, and I'll show you how, watch. Okay, now let's secure the bow. Remember to not secure the zip tie tight in the beginning until after you've inserted your Chanel stem, okay? Okay, let's fluff and get everything the way that we want and make our bow really pretty. This is the not so fun part, but be sure to take your time because you want a really nice bow. Trim those ends because blunt ends are not cute unless you're going to spiral curl them. And we didn't leave enough tails for that. This is what happens when you don't trim as you go. I typically trim as I go, but I didn't this time. So now I have to take the opportunity to trim my ends and make sure that the bow is to my liking. All right, you guys, this is the final look of our bow today. I wanna to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for stopping by and visiting with me. Here are a couple of my videos that I would love for you to check out. Have a good day.